Gone on YouTube, it's your boy, Kurt Test 7. Manchester United have defeated Liverpool in the Guinness International Champions Cup. Yes, I finally got that title right. My God, I've done this take about a hundred times. Can't believe who creates a name that big. Anyways, who cares? Manchester United have won this tournament in the USA. What a great way to cap off the preseason tour for Louis van Gaal. Not a bad way to start your Manchester United career. But one thing I have been harping on all preseason tour is that results don't mean anything. It's about exactly what you get out of these games, whether it be fitness, your tactics right, you know, no injuries. That's what is the main thing. Great that we've won this International Cup, and I think we even get like a million dollars bonus, which is not much for these big clubs. But uh, always great to beat the Scousers, and especially when you get a little bit of a cup at the end of it. But uh, this game here, lads, was very, very sloppy. Played in Miami. Now, Miami is known for its heat, you know, really, really, really hot weather, and it was really slippery conditions. Now, both sets of teams, lads, have done a lot of traveling in the past two weeks, so these players are very, very tired. They did more traveling the last couple of uh, days, so you knew these players weren't going to be up to their utmost fittest, but in saying that, lads, it was very, very, uh, I was going to say, it's definitely poor standards by the Premier League standard. Considering the uh, Premier League's two weeks away, it was definitely a very sloppy standard. And you can see that from both sides, the first 20 minutes, there must have been a, or at least, you know, a dozen times where both teams gave the ball away. Very sloppy, the opening 15, 20 minutes. And uh, now talking about sloppy, Phil Jones, I don't know what he was thinking, just went into a rash challenge into Raheem Sterling. No need for that, he was going nowhere. Uh, they got the penalty, clear penalty. Stevie G stepped up, as he always does against United. Does my head in, slots it into the bottom corner. De Gea, nothing you could do about that. 1-0 to the Scousers. And you know what, that first half, it was very, very boring. Not much going on. Very even game. I wouldn't say one side dominated over the other. Uh, very even, but uh, very sloppy. Uh, Louis Van Gaal saw the sloppiness, made the changes at halftime, uh, took off Darren Fletcher, who by far has got to be his worst game in United type. Honestly, I thought he was dead set. Really, really terrible. I don't know. Maybe he's carrying a ni uh, niggling injury. Who knows? But uh, Johnny Evans was uh, terrible as well. Took him off. Tyler Blackett came on to replace uh, Johnny Evans. And my word, Tyler Blackett. He's going to be my player who, who has caught my eye on this preseason tour. Again, he looks so, so damn calm on the ball. I like this kid. He he reminds me of a really young Rio Ferdinand. And if he could be half the player Rio was, mate, we've got ourselves a serious player here. But in saying that, Tom Cleavy uh, came on to replace uh, Darren Fletcher. He did a not too bad job as well. But anyways, lads, in the second half, Hernandez pushed out to the wing. Mate, delivered this beautifully timed ball to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney, left foot, bang. Mate, just precision to the bottom corner. Nutmeg Skirtle went past the mini late. United 1-1. One, one. And well, all two minutes later, one matter, you know, great link up play between him and Rooney. Got the ball, deflected off Sacco, went past the mini late. Two goals in two minutes. United hit the lead. Uh, again, very even in the second half. And again, very sloppy play from uh, both teams. Both teams just giving the way the ball just way too much for my liking. Especially when the Premier League's only, you know, 11 days away. I don't know. Anyways, uh, mate, Jesse Lingard came off the bench. And I tell you what, what a superb goal he scored. One touch to control it. Second touch, pow, outside the box. Pass Mignolet. What a nice finish. And I tell you what, the future is looking bright for United. Jesse Lingard, you know, Wilfred Zaha, uh, Yenazai is not on this preseason tour. Tyler Blackett, Michael Keane. It's great to see these youngsters who have done well on this preseason tour. So, in saying that, lads, 3 1 against the Scousers. Always nice to beat them. Results don't mean anything, but it's nice to pick up that million dollars. But in saying that, lads, that you happen to see Wayne Rooney cheekily try to claim a goal that Ashley Young crossed the ball, didn't hit the crossbar, hit some pole behind the crossbar, came back into play, and Rooney on the volley tried to score it, tried to claim it, and uh, the referee pointed to the spot. He pointed, it was going to count. But, you know, goal line technology, they went back, they saw the replay, and they knew Wayne Rooney was up to his old uh, shifty tricks, and they disallowed that goal, which, of course, 
was meant to be. But in saying that, what a great way for Louis Van Hull to get off to his Manchester United uh, career. Great to see that. Great to see him implementing his philosophy. My word, I was screaming for this all last season. You can see the players are really working towards it, and I'm happy to see this as well. In saying that, lads, there's still a lot of work to be done to this United squad. You know, if any game more than other than this one shows we really, really, really need that central midfielder. Clearly, Carrick's injured. He's probably passed it. Darren Fletcher definitely passed it. Can play a few games here or there. Uh, can we really rely on the likes of uh, Cleverly and Anderson? Yes, Ander Herrera is a class buy, but he's not going to be the main man that's going to grab the game by the balls, you know, and take the game on. He's not going to be that kind of player. He's still young, but we need a Yaya Toure-like player. I still reckon we need that central midfielder. That, and we need that centre half as well. Can you imagine if we get an injury to uh, Smalling, Jones or Evans? It's not going to be too good, is it? So uh, get that centre half, get that centre midfield and I reckon we should be ready for the Premier League season. Like I was saying lads, 11 days till the Premier League starts. I cannot wait for this whatsoever. But United lads, on the 12th of August, we play Valencia at Old Trafford. Can't wait for that. Make sure you stick around for the review on my channel. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 What a great way to end the preseason tour. Take care and peace. Come on, United.